Hello guys, welcome to the with the fourth video for the state of matter where we're going to finalize it with phase diagram. So what is actually a phase diagram? A phase diagram is a graph that shows the overall relationship between solid, liquid and vapor uh, in any temperature and also pressure. So the phase diagram summarizes the condition in which a substance exists as a solid, liquid or gas. So in this section, we are going to discuss briefly the phase diagram of water and also carbon dioxide. So given to you, this is the phase diagram of water. So in phase diagram of water, so you have, this is what we call as a sublimation curve. This one is a melting curve. And this is a vapor pressure curve. So everything beyond here exists as solid. Everything exists here in liquid whereas below here, all are gases. This point is also known as a triple point, where in triple point, we say that solid, liquid and vapor coexist together. Whereas here, this is what we call as a critical point, where in critical point, uh, when any substance go beyond critical point, the gas can no longer be compressed back to become liquid. So therefore, uh, it will remain as a gas forever. So the triple points for the water occur at 0 0.01 degrees Celsius and 0 0.06 atmosphere, where the critical points exist at 274 degrees Celsius and 73 atmosphere. So let's have a look in more properties of water. So water is so common substance of Earth that we often overlook its unique nature. So all life processes involve water. So water is an excellent solvent for many ionic compounds as well as other substances capable of forming and resolving with water. The most unusual property of water that is that the solid is more uh, the solid is less dense than the liquid. So ice float at the surface of the liquid water, and the density is almost all other substance is greater than the solid state than in the liquid state. So we said that water can form two hydrogen bond. So water molecule are joined together in an extensive three-dimensional network in which each oxygen atom is approximately tetrahedral, bonded to four hydrogen atom, two by covalent bond and two by hydrogen bond. So this is what I mean by uh, how does the uh, structure of the water in ice and water as in liquid. So as you can see in here, the space, okay, this uh, water has an open structure, while what liquid has more closed structure. So how are you going to explain the phenomenon of a phase diagram as the pressure increase? So from the diagram, ice structure above, so water molecule in ice fixed array exists as a uh, lead to a hexagonal open structure. So the large space within ice gives the solid a lower density than liquid. So this organization explains the negative slope of solid liquid line in the phase diagram of water. Whereas, as pressure increased, some of the hydrogen bond broken. As a result, some of the water molecules are able to enter the space, and the crystalline structure breaks down, and the distance of the water molecule becomes closer hence liquefied. Therefore, the density of the water as the volume has decreased, density increase has increased the density for the water. Whereas here we have is the phase diagram of carbon dioxide. Unlike water, the uh, melting curve now is showing a positive gradient. So this is still a sublimation curve and this is still a vaporization curve. So everything beyond here is solid, here is liquid, and here is gas. So for carbon dioxide, uh, triple point exists at negative 57 degrees Celsius and 5.1 atmosphere. Whereas critical point exists at 31 degrees Celsius and 73 atmosphere. So that's this will explain at one atmosphere why carbon dioxide exists as a gas. Now note what happens below here. Carbon dioxide, under atmospheric pressure, exists either in solid or in gas state. So solid carbon dioxide is also known as dry ice. And here are a few things about carbon dioxide and its applications. So solid equilibrium, equilibrium OC slope will rise as the typical of the small substance. So it indicates that uh, melting points of the carbon dioxide increase with the increase of pressure. 
So this is due to solid carbon dioxide is denser than the liquid since molecules in the solid state are more close back. Consequently, an increasing pressure form of formation favor the formation of the solid. So a triple point occurs at 5.1 above 4.0, therefore all pressure below 5.1, no liquid carbon dioxide can exist. If solid carbon dioxide is warm at one atmosphere, it sublight at negative 8 degrees Celsius, passing directly from the solid phase into the gaseous phase without going through the liquid phase. So obtain, to obtain liquid carbon dioxide, a pressure greater than 5.1 atmosphere will have applied. So here are a few examples, here are a few applications of the solid dry ice. So, solid carbon dioxide is used as refrigerant for foodstuffs such as ice cream since it does not smell on warming. It is also used in stage performances to give a smoky effect. So, this is due to the effect of condensation of the water vapor around the atmosphere by the cold air due to the sublimation of the carbon dioxide. As a result, the dry ice absorbs the heat from the surrounding, hence condense the water vapor from the surrounding. So, it is also used as fire extinguisher to put off fire. So fire extinguisher is stored in liquid phase under high pressure. So once the gas is released, the pressure is reduced, the carbon dioxide gas is given off. <coughs> Finally, it is also used in cloud seeding to encourage the formation of ice crystal in cloud. So as dry ice sunlight absorbs the heat from the surrounding, therefore lowering the temperature. And this will promote the condensation process of the water vapor around there and therefore form an artificial rain. So that is where I feel all the face diagram. So I hope that you all enjoy and see you all in the next chapter.